Passport at the ready! The Microsoft Flight Simulator Xbox release date has been confirmed. Here's that and other details you really should know. Sometimes, despite being called a tribe called Cars, I take to the skies. Planes have wheels, right? I mean, I'm not really an aviation nerd beyond wanting my own Concorde, obviously, but I have loved exploring the world in Microsoft Flight Simulator, and those with an Xbox can soon join the party. Yes, Asobo Studios and Microsoft have announced the Microsoft Flight Simulator release date on Xbox. So chuck the 27th of July 2021 in your diary, as that is when we will have liftoff for those with an Xbox Series X or Series S, but not older Xbox consoles I'm afraid. Even better is the fact Microsoft Flight Simulator will be a day one Game Pass game. That means anyone with Xbox Game Pass can play the basic version of the game for free. Well, free minus the monthly subscription cost, which can be as cheap as £1 or equivalent for the first three months. Then £10.99 after, unless you cancel, which is easily done through the website. You can even pre-install Microsoft Flight Simulator now, so no need to worry about downloading all bajillion gigabytes on the big day. Good for people with slower internet connections. Just remember to free up storage space. This is a big game. So is Microsoft Flight Simulator worth it? Well, as part of the Game Pass, there is no reason not to try. Will you enjoy it? That depends. I am not really into flying real-time flights from London to New York, for instance, which you can do. Some will love the realism and authenticity. However, being able to fly from anywhere to anywhere or just explore a random point on the globe in its entirety is impressive. It really highlights just how far gaming has come since the days of 2D sprites and 8-bit tunes. If you have watched my previous Microsoft Flight Simulator videos, you will know this is the new crisis in terms of testing hardware. No retail PC can do 4K 60 frames per second with everything maxed out. Unlike most games, this is a more CPU intensive game. Even with an RTX 3080, 12 core and 24 thread 3900X CPU, 32 gig of fast RAM and an SSD, Microsoft Flight Simulator can grind to a halt at higher resolutions and settings. It is therefore unsurprising that 30 frames per second is the Xbox Series X and Series S default. However, the frame rate can go above that due to variable refresh rate or VRR for short. What is unknown currently is what sort of trade-offs have occurred to run on the admittedly powerful new Xbox consoles. Will DirectX 12 implementation, if that is a thing, let the console version kick butt more easily? We shall see. At least I can say that, unless Microsoft is telling a big porky, the trailer was filmed using the Xbox Series X and not a PC. So yeah, I doubt anyone will complain about how the game looks, even when flying above the hardware stressing areas such as New York, London or Tokyo. Also unknown is how much of the functionality from the PC version will make it in. Hopefully everything, but again, have any corners been cut to cope with a potentially less powerful platform? In terms of the premise, to quote Microsoft, from light planes to wide body jets, you'll test your piloting skills against the challenges of real-time weather, including accurate worldwide cloud cover and cloud layers, wind speed and direction, temperature, humidity, rain, and lightning, all in a dynamic and living world. With the power of satellite data and cloud-based AI, you'll travel the entire planet in amazing detail, with more than 37,000 airports, 2 million cities, 1.5 billion buildings, real mountain ranges, roads, trees, rivers, animals, traffic, and more. Okay, cold shower time. Now perhaps there is a concern the lack of weapons, competitive multiplayer, and other high energy stuff will keep some players from sticking around, because Microsoft also announced a high energy expansion during the E3 reveal. Known as Top Gun Maverick, this free DLC will arrive in time for the Paramount Pictures movie of the same name, specifically the 19th of November 2021. As you can hopefully see, it is all about flying jets at supersonic speeds. 
and presumably getting laid constantly. Microsoft Flight Simulator on Xbox will support an Xbox controller, keyboard and mouse. Plus a number of flight sticks such as the Thrustmaster T-Flight HOTUS 1, T-Flight Rudder and Hori HOTUS Flight Stick for Xbox One. Other compatible peripherals will be announced at a later date. So there you have it, Microsoft Flight Simulator on Xbox Series X and Series S via Game Pass on the 27th of July 2021. Stay tuned for more airplane action on the channel as I will be comparing the console and PC versions. Be sure to like and subscribe, take care, bye.